diaper. Small. Yeah. You guys go for salmon or any stripers? Uh, no, no salmon. Just a little bit of salt and fresh water. Oh, yeah. uh, back, back, like that. So windy. No, probably so Did bad. you cut yourself? No. No. Oh. Right. Looks like you did. By the way, you're holding your finger. Little baby striper number one. First cat, uh, yeah, a couple casts out here. It's almost high tide. We've got about two hours left until high tide hits. Hooked up on this nice little schoolie. We're going to let it go now. Oh! Oh, no. he's a feisty one. And he's gone. Can you see him? No. Instant. Instant. So let me show you what I caught it on. Caught it on this cast master with the bucktail. Single hook. Easier to take off the fish when you hook them. Treble hooks are just a pain in the ass. So I just got it on this uh, clip here. Easy. In and out. Silver cast master. That's how you do it. Don't throw it. I want to take a boomerang. Another seed robin. That's my third seed robin. One striper. Look at those Taylor Blues, but I can't find them. So he's going back. Face it. What's up guys? So hope you enjoyed our little adventure out there catching some fish. The products I used were a cast master, one ounce cast master with a white bucktail skirt, if that's what you call it. It was a skirt attachment, single hook, not treble hook, which I think is a lot better than a treble hook. It's easier to take the fish off, you know. And the second thing I used was a Spro Bucktail, I believe it was Spro. And uh, the trailer was a grub tail, a white grub tail trailer. But those were my go-to choices for today. And uh, ended up pretty good. At least I caught some fish, you know, fish is a fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys again.